What's going on y'all? This is old Buck with Carolina Crazy Outdoors. Before we get into the video, I want to thank every one of y'all who tune in. I really hope y'all enjoy the videos I put out and now I want to thank my sponsors. JC's Outdoors, all your hunting and fishing needs, live bait, guns, archery and apparel, serving breakfast and lunch, flight deck restaurant, voted best family restaurant in Lexington, great food, homemade desserts with the perfect blend of southern and Greek flavor, huge arcade to entertain the kids, Twin City Concrete, for all your concrete needs, they pour driveways, slabs for porches, and shops and sidewalks. Warren's Landscaping Services, everyday lawn care maintenance, lighting, irrigation systems, and water features. Proudly serving Lexington and the Gilbert for over 24 years. Rough Country Off-Road, let them customize your side-by-side. -side. Anything from lifts, lights, and plenty more accessories. We going to get them today, boy. Yeah. First of November. Yeah. Bucks is in rut and they scrambling around, ain't it, ain't it white? Oh, yeah. We killed one when last, last Friday. Time. Yeah. That's right. One day. Yeah. Gotta you shoot that little 243, can't you, boy? Mm hmm. Put a hole in the other one. Yep, just right, wasn't it? Yep, right behind the shore. Yep. That thing bled and bled. Yeah, he did bleed. Last didn't time. Well, we got a couple of deer down here we want to take off the property. There ain't much to them. But it's also a big old buck down here. We like, see him, we gonna drop the hammer on him, so ain't we? A nine or ten, isn't it? Yeah, nine point. Huh. All right, well, we gonna go get in the stand.
Got blew it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not blue. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Track him on out, boy. Oh, Bleeding bad, ain't yeah. You still got blue? Um, okay. Right there. Okay. You see it? There's a lot of blood right there. Yeah. There. Yeah. Going right through there. Blood. Right there behind the... Right there, see it's full Yeah. What's on your arm? Bird Tattoo. I'm bird What's up everybody, old Buck here. So I'm really excited. My little nephew, White, got him a buck. Uh, let's turn it on him. How you like that, boy? Mm -hmm. That's what, number three this year? Uh, yeah. Yeah, two? Two. No, no that's three, Daddy. No, that's three. That's three. I do the five winter and then the four with grandpa and then. Not hear that, but that's good. Your next two, they gotta be nice though because they're yeah. restricted on the antlers. What y'all doing? Watching. <laughs> but anyway, what is that stuff right there? That's meat, man. That's meat. But what's that stinking stuff right there? I don't know what that stinking stuff is, but what I I'm excited I about. I already know what it is. What? Fart. Fart? <laughs> Hush your mouth, boy. <laughs> but um, I told them we uh we making deer hash tomorrow. I never did it. Um, uh, why it killed one last week? Yeah. Well, about four or five days ago, I finally got the, that uh, deer deboned today, and I told him to go kill another today. I didn't care what they shot, and he killed a five point, I believe it was. Go grab the head. We'll we'll show you. Lean right here. Move it. Oh yeah. That one. Um, what I like about it is one's curving. Oh yeah, that's that nice. One. Nice. nice. You want to pick? You like that boy? <laughs> So anyway, we got two deer to go into hash now. We got a bunch of sausage we're gonna put in it. Yep. All deer sausage. Let's go. And um, I got I bought two Boston butts to put in it. Yeah. So this deer you see hanging right here, literally in the morning, he's gonna be in a pot and we'll show you how we do it and all that good stuff. Make deer hash. Well, we need the bones for our dogs. The, bo the bones for the dogs. That's the bones right there. Not hear that. Anyway, we're gonna show y'all how it all how it all goes down. We got two deer to put in it. Why kill both of them? So he is putting meat in the freezer for us. Thank goodness. Thank goodness you ain't, ain't you and ain't Rebecca's killing them, ain't it? You done killed three and she's killed three. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But uh, we'll see y'all in the morning and uh, we'll get it worked up. Good morning, everybody. Oh, Buck here. Well, it's the following morning. After my nephew Wyatt got him a buck. We're making us some deer deer hash today. We're gonna let you see how we do it. Uh, hey, I got a ham right here. I'm about to get ready and the rest. And right there. So uh, I can't wait. I love this. And I wish more people would do it. I mean, everybody goes to the processor. I mean, you ain't, you ain't teaching your kids thing about processing nothing. So, uh, so it's on you. You need to be teaching the kids how to do this kind of stuff. That's just, and I'm not knocking processors. Every now and then I'll use one when I want something special made. But when it comes to hamburger meat, sausage, and hash and stuff like that, you need to be making it yourself and get out and have a good time with your kids doing it. So, but anyway, and I'm not knocking y'all, I'm just saying, get out there with your kids and enjoy it. Cause it's a good time. It's a family ordeal around here. So, I just love it. So, uh, we about to go get the fire ready, get the pot and all that ready and Next time you see this uh, deer here, he's gonna be in a five gallon bucket. I'm gonna debone the whole thing. Everything is going in there, so stay tuned. All right, everybody. Well, got the old deer cut up, so all the meat's ready. Now I'm about to get the wood and about to go up there and get it around the pot. Shoot, we're gonna be rocking and rolling here in a minute. So uh, 
We got this down here, kind of near a pond. The good and dry, keep tin over it. Yeah, the kids love playing in this stuff too. You gotta be careful with snakes though, especially now. They'll get in that stuff and for the winter, and it can be a uh, not so good situation. All right, let's get this wood loaded, and we're gonna go out there and get this thing rolling. All right, everybody. So here's the deal. Here's what we got. Got a five gallon bucket of deer meat, five gallon bucket of deer meat. There's two Boston butts under there. Saucers, deer saucers, and deer burger. So, uh, you ready to get the fire started? Ready. We about to get the fire started. I'm gonna let Daddy tell about this pot. We're gonna put this back in the refrigerator, by the way. I just want to show what we got. So, tell everybody about this big old 30, what, 35 gallon? Yeah, 35 gallon. We used to, we butchered two or three hogs a year. And this is actually a water pot. That's when you boil the water and get it going once you kill a hog. You set a drum down in the ground and angle it. And you'd, we'd dip out of this here and put it in there and we would scald the hog, scrape him. Mm -hmm. But nowadays, the scraping's over with. <laughs> we skin them. That's the easiest we, thing to do. Yeah, because we don't, we don't fry the lard out no more. They say, it, they say the lard will kill you, but my mama lived to be 101 and a half years old and that's all they used was hog lard. There's plenty of people that lived to be 100 years, 90 to 100 years old yeah. that ate that stuff. But I think the thing about it is people don't work these day and time. You got to get out and work. That's, it, that's true. And yeah. So we're gonna true. put everything in here. We're fitting to start the fire and get it rolling. And that ain't, and again, that ain't an actual cooking pot. That's a water pot. Yeah, it's called it's a water easier. Pot. It's easier to get. I mean, that's way bigger than a regular cooking pot. Yeah. I, mean, I think it's huge. So, all right, let's get the fire going. All right. Oh yeah. That thing will be boiling here soon. That's gonna be a pot full of meat, ain't it? Yeah. It is. Charcoal star is the best thing to start a fire with. Don't use gas. You can get blowed up and killed with gas. Yeah. Yeah, that wouldn't be good. And we got that sausage and deer burger in there, not because we have to do that. It's just get that get that meat in there. You ain't gotta go buy you ain't gotta go buy six Boston butts. You only gotta get two and well, kill the rest with deer. What it was, we had some sausage left over from 20, 2021. Yeah. So we, I mean it was still good. Yeah, we replaced it with twenty two sausage. And we just decided to cook it and make hash because you can't beat hash. Mm -mm. And the kids love it. Oh, they love it. <laughs> well, I'm not there cooking the deer hash. Dads are here cooking what a chicken stew. Yeah. Can't say we ain't gonna go uh -huh. uh, go go hungry. Yeah, a friend of mine called me and said I cooked the chicken stew for the community center. And he said he had to have some of that to put in his freezer. <laughs> it was good. So. Oh yeah. We went and bought some cheap leg. Uh, legs and 99 cent a pound. You gotta 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 do that this day and time. If you don't, man, you could end up having a hundred dollars in just a stew. But now we can do it for about 45, 50. We cooking the dang deer hash just because. Yeah. Just because. Kids love it and it's a quick meal. And I ain't got but you gonna have about a, about three quarters of a three quarters of a gallon of French's mustard, some vinegar. Um, I bought two Boston butts. That was $35 for both of them. And again, we had other meat to put in it though. So if you ain't got other meat to put in for it, you're going to have to buy a lot of Boston butts. But but the majority of us deer meat. So that's a good thing about it. All right, everybody, we're about to put the meat in. The deer meat is going in first. This is a good thing about being a camera guy. The old timers is working. <laughs> that water's hot, hot. Woo! <laughs> There you go. Boot that around a little bit. All right. All right, here comes the Boston butt. I left the bone in it because I, you yeah. know. So. Yeah. Bleed it. Listen to that thing sizzling. Oh, yeah. God, that's a pile of meat. Yeah. <laughs> 35 gallon pot now and that thing's slam full. So we're not gonna put the uh sausage and deer burger in yet because that's gonna be like the last thing we do because it won't take it in no time to get done. This here we want it to cook for about an hour. So no worry, stirring it around. 
The smoke's following you. You must have the money. <laughs> that's a lie. <laughs> They say smoke follows beauty, and that's a lie, too. <laughs> well, it ain't nowhere near me. <clears throat> All right, Dad, tell them what you're doing. Putting in salt. How much salt? About a half a box. Half probably. a box? Yeah, that'll be sure to kill us there. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah, you ain't got enough salt, man. It won't be worth a two. That's a lot of meat in there, we go, and we're going to have to add more. Yeah. We're going to tweak it as we go. It's funny how salt... You can put so much in there and it's still, you can't even taste it. A lot of it cooks out. Yeah, it cooks out, yeah. We still fix, we put in the, yeah. we fix to put about uh, 10 pound of onions in. 10 pound of onion, there you go. You can go ahead and cut them up. Yeah, I about to say, speaking of the onion, I gotta go get them ready. Dad, you know what? Why don't you go ahead and do it while you got in your hand? Yeah. Put these onions in there, setting up like that, in the french fry cutter. God knows. Lay it to it. Again, the cameraman sometimes you can't beat it. You're doing a good job, Dad. Look there. Look there. That's a quick way to do it. Yeah. You know, I tried to buy one of those French fry um, cutters and everything else, and they did. So, so much, uh, uh, it's out of stock, out of stock, really? out of stock. Yeah. They handy. They are handy. We use it all the time. Where'd you get that one? I bought it from a friend of mine. Oh. All right. What time? How long? Well, we're going to put them in, in there at the end, right? About another hour. About another hour? Okay. If you don't, they'll cook all slim easy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't want that. That's it. There it is. Done. In one minute. Shoot, it wasn't even a minute. Yeah. All right, everybody. We about to really get the pot full. A five gallon bucket over the top full of sausage and deer burger. Oh, you gonna go do it? Hey, okay. Yeah. I'm gonna kind of break it up. Make sure it lands in the, in the, in the pot. Yeah. You can drop it on the on the uh, stir if you wanna. Uh, Dad, hey. somebody told me they can they can eat off one deer for the whole year. They don't eat no deer meat if they can do that. No. <laughs> that's, a, that's a big. That's deal. a lie. That's well, a it might not deer. be a lie. They might not eat deer meat a whole lot. I well, guess that's true. But I mean, that's a big deer too. Well, here was their argument. Why? Why is people shoot so many deer? They can only eat. They can eat off one deer. And I'm thinking, y'all ain't eating no deer meat if that don't last you no longer. I mean, if that lasts, you know, a year, I'm like, yeah. man, my God, we go through probably, what, six rate a year? We eat probably six. We got two deer cut up in hamburger. We got a deer and a half cut up in sausage. This is 2021 sausage. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with it, but we got a new batch. Boy, you talking about the kids tearing into this? Oh, they love it. It's a cheap way to get a lot of food, too. Yep. God, boy, that's a pot full, ain't it? Yeah. Bring the rest up, bring some over on this side. We about to run out, ain't we? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we're going to stir around a little bit. I ain't going to put no more in it, but I ain't got no more. Uh -uh. All right, the last thing that goes in is the onions. There they go. That big old pot. That's about 10 pound of onion. God knows. Stir it up, Buck. We Let her eat, cook. We're going to be eating on that the rest of our life. <laughs> Did his handmade paddle. Mm. Old school. Look at that. Man, what you talking about? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he called, uh... Oh, we about to get it off. Get something done, and then he got back a while ago, and he said to tell you probably be tomorrow. Well, we don't need to drop it. it. No. And then... Oh, God, where are we going? Got back Wait, home and, uh, the... Oh, Lord, you need to hurry, because this is getting hot on my little bitty fingers. Ready? All right, go. Oh, oh my God. Oh, Pick my it up, man. Oh! oh. Uh, oh my lord. Boy, that was so, heavy. You know, he did with that now. So. 
He said, Jimmy, you might just come tomorrow. Huh? Is that That's Ronnie? His house. Yeah. Tell him to come on up in. Got to get a lot of this grease out. Yeah, so Ron, he's still getting weird. He's getting what do you call that gravy? It's down, it's getting hot. I'm gonna get some of that fine. Out of there. Mm, over there. Yeah. You talking about scald your little bitty fingers? Why do you call you Larry more? Huh? <laughs> Larry, give us a story. Man, I have, I don't have any good stories. No, I'm kind of sad. Sad? <laughs> Shit, you just had a good one. No, that was a good one. Wasn't it? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sorry to hear this sad. Huh? That wasn't sad, that, that wasn't. And then they could find the dog in the dog pen yesterday. I don't know how that sucker got back in there unless he climbed over. <laughs> yeah, you about had to, didn't you? Well, I don't know. You can see we got a dang five gallon bucket full of grease. Gravy. That rest, that's gravy. Yeah. yeah, that ain't really grease. Gravy. That grease will come to the top on that five gallon bucket. And then you can separate and it. And we'll separate it and put the gravy back in the pot. Well, there you go. Yeah. There Look you go. Sounds like he got a plan. He got a plan. Yeah, that's a pile of meat there, boy. God knows. That's deer meat, Boston buck. Kangaroo. Sausage. <laughs> cube steak, beef. <laughs> Mainly deer meat though. Hog, hog. I am a back. Hey, look out. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> yeah. All right, we got chicken stew, as you can yeah, see. Yeah. Pot meat. That is good. I look good. Got the rice. Larry, say you have so much bad luck with stuff, if you have to get a heart transplant, you're going to tell them to put two in there? Put two of them <laughs> in there, because I know the first one ain't going to work. <laughs> Everything. It takes two. It takes two. Hey, but it, hey, we could have it worse. Hey, we could have it worse. We could have it a lot worse. That's it. So that, if that's the only thing we got to complain about is a dead battery, that's a good day. You got that right. That's, that's a it. real good day. A real good day. We're about to tear into this here, buddy. Here. Here. Mm -hmm. mm, God knows. We're going to pig out and see how this goes. We're going to say, won't you say one of them uh, big, long yeah, blessings? A real good one. Real good one. I don't know how I'm saying <laughs> 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 You couldn't say the good long one. All right, you ready? <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, God's great, God's good. Let us thank him for the advice, sins, and all that gifts, all day, bread. Amen. Amen. About you, 10 you seconds. Good. I could have done that one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I thought you were going to do a real, real long yeah, one. I want one of them long ones. All kind of makes you tear up. All of them's good. Mm. Well, you want one of them long ones with. Everybody just about through eating before you ever get finished. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And what Dwight Price, he'd say one, he'd say the same thing three or four times in the same blessing. We laughed about that. Uh, we didn't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, give me a uh, update on how your food tastes. Very, 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 very good. Very good. <laughs> that chicken stew is amazing. I pity the people that don't know how to do it because one day we may have to live off of what we eat <laughs> yeah. right now. Yeah, there. I mean, you just can't yeah, it ain't no it ain't, it ain't no good. <laughs> you gotta get these bones out. <clears throat> People don't know that when you eat hash, I mean, this is obviously deer hash, but when you eating hash, man, this is pretty much how it's made. Good it. So, well, anyway, I'm on my second plate. Uh, I don't need to be doing that, but <laughs> it is what it is. We're gonna do it anyway. We're gonna do it anyway. <clears throat> Next time you see us in there, we're gonna be working up the hash, and I'll video some of that too. All right, here we go. We're going to, uh, we got to grind this up. No different than making burger or sausage. So if it's going to come out is, um, well, it'll look like sausage or burger, but you know, we got to add other stuff to make the hash. Go ahead with it. It's still pretty warm, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah, it comes out easy too. I love that. You want to get over here a lot of don't ever stick your hand down in there for it to come out of there. Yeah. What you think, Lila? It looks weird. Weird? Give <laughs> me that. There you go. Daddy, there's a fly around here. A fly? Yeah. Well, if he gets too close, he'll wind up in that dang hair. <laughs> 
pretty. That, that's good looking at. It looks different. Well, that's because it's not uh, it ain't cold and got that fat like. It. Well, it's got fat. You just it just looks different. Fat's already in it, good, right? Yeah. Like that. You love hash, don't you, baby? I do. What you doing? Eating it. You eating it? Good, ain't it? That's good stuff, ain't it, baby? There's just seem to be hash. Yeah. We got that rest of that do and a whole nother thing over there. Ah, if you wonder how we mix this stuff up, here's how. We put it back in the pot in that gravy right there. Yeah. All right, dump right in there. Just like that. God knows what a pile of meat. Right. Put the top back on, and we got to go up there. Two more, pots. two more pots to do. So it's gonna be a lot of meat, a lot of hash. Bubba, take your handful and try it, buddy. It's really good. Good stuff. Oh, here, here you go. Can I try one? Yeah, man. Here. What is that? Take a bite of that. Is it good? How about that? <laughs> you gonna take it, and run? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good stuff. Mm -hmm. That's really daddy. All right, we about to dump tray number two in there. Mm -hmm. <coughs> mm -mm. Pile of meat on it. Mm -hmm. Not yet, buddy. Uh huh. Hey, get out of the mashes, boy. Come on. Your mama tear yours and my honey up for getting your shoes messed up. Ow. I smacked your butt, Daddy. You sure did. Hey. All right. Tray number three. Take in consideration, that's a 35 gallon pot. Take that you big need the pot, Grandpa? Uh, you need the pot? You need the pot right here. See how thick that still is? Get, now you got to get that out of, that uh that gravy out of here. Mm, yummy gravy. Yeah, Look like grandma hit. All right. All right. Gravy. Go. All right. We need to. Oh, That's paddle. hot, there, boy. Where's the paddle? Right behind paddle. you. Grab that paddle, buddy. Wooden paddle. Keep it off the ground. There you go. It was laying on the wood. Good deal. You can still wipe it off just to make sure. All right. Mm. Still pretty thick, ain't it? Mm. <laughs> that came from white deer. Two deer white guy. Yeah. I just want to eat that so bad. Yeah. I just want to eat that so bad. Do you? How bad you want to eat it? Bad? I'll come out and get a lot, and then I'll just eat a lot, a lot, and a lot. <laughs> a lot, a lot, lot? And then when I get full, I won't eat anymore. If I'm not full, I'll stay. Taste it. Taste it's it. Hot. Bro. It's hot. Take your finger rug on there. Grab it in peace. How about that? Good stuff, ain't it? Mm -hmm. All right, here comes some more water. That might get it there, you think? Yeah. I hope. Okay. See what you got. All right. Stir it, buddy. Okay. Hey, easy. Uh, Don't make a mess now. Here. Yeah, you got to be easy. I'll go do nothing. <laughs> All right. I think that's pretty close here. Then you got to put the mustard. How much, uh, show the mustard? This is probably, it probably ain't even a gallon. What kind of, French's? French's mustard. Now, why French's? I know you this, were I, I about French's. I'm partial to French's. I always have been. I like the way it tastes. Yeah. You gonna use the whole thing? Probably. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can put water in there and inside out? Well, um, How much vinegar? Are oh, you gonna use the vinegar? Yeah. It came off really easy, Daddy. Good deal, buddy. 
Hold on, buddy. Can I put some mustard in there? There you go. There you go. Take and put this over some rice. Uh -huh. I'll put some rice in here. <laughs> it ain't gonna be enough mustard. You don't think? I know it ain't. Well, what? guess where I know where some more is? Yeah. Where? At the Dollar General. You don't go right on in the police and go visit? That's a menu meal right there. <laughs> well, we got plenty in that bag right there. See, this is a bigger pot than what we had. Oh God, yeah. The other day. Deer hash. All right, y'all taste it. Tell us how it is. Good. 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 Like you need to put a little more mustard in it or what? Good. Good. Don't okay. mess with it. Don't mess with it. Hey, <laughs> put a little bit more mustard in it. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. All right. That should be good. All right, we'll stir it up. Give me that lid. All right, that's it. All right, y'all. Here's the finished product. Look at that pretty stuff. Can't beat that, can you, Dad? Uh huh. Now we gotta we gotta dip it out, put it in these containers right here. And they go into uh, we got a big cooler up there and refrigerator down here. We gotta put it in there, let it cool down. And tomorrow we'll bag it up and we'll finish up tomorrow and let you know how many bags we got. Quart bags. All right, write it neat. Where people gonna read it? We're putting it in the bags. Hash. H A S H. Pour it down, there you go. Do it, boy! <laughs> 1122, let's see. What's that D for deer? D. Yeah, deer. Hey, good job, boy. Putting it in the bags, we'll see how many we got here in a minute. Well, probably about an hour. Yeah. All right, everybody, so we finally finished bagging this hash up, and oh my Lord, do we have a bunch of hash. This is the bags. There's eight in each bag. So there you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 56 quart bags right there. And we got another 20 quart bags up there already in the freezer. So 76, right at 80 quart bags of hash. We'll be eating on this for a year and a half, two years. And I can't, and I'm so excited. I love hash and the kids love hash. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this process. It's the easiest thing to do. Get your kids involved with it because they'll love it. It's a great time. It's just fun out in the country. And you ain't even got to live in the country. So uh, get out there and make your own hash. Cube your own steak, make your own sausage, do your own deer burger and all that stuff because everybody's taking it to the processors. Get out there and do it yourself. It'll be a lot more enjoyable when you're eating it. Anyway, hope y'all enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time.